Recently, we came with this uh, communication on uh, energy security, and um, I'll refer to that because this is quite an important piece of uh, uh, legislation, uh, not yet, but of policy making, which will drive the energy policy for the coming years. And it was driven also by uh, potential crisis now with, with Ukraine, and um, we saw that the EU imports are high, they are over 50%, that Europe is paying today more than 1 billion euro for energy imports, and that the dependency is high. It's 40% for solid fuels, over 60% for gas, and over 88% for, for oil. Out of which, a good part of these imports for gas, for example, 40% comes from Russia. On the other hand, it's true. We see that the EU mix is there and is relatively balanced among the sources, and the renewable shares is increasing with a view to achieve the 20% objective by 2020, which you may recall it was uh, defined at member state level at that time. And Romania has also made a very good progress on that, having almost reached its renewable target. And this merits a little bit more discussion to see how to advance further in a way which is more cost effective. In any case, Europe has the merit to already have about half of its electricity production CO2 free. And this is due to, first of all, renewables and nuclear. But in long term, as I said, the challenge of import dependency will increase. And this is valid for oil, but is also valid for gas. By 2035, we see that we may reach over 90% or almost 90% also on gas import dependency. So this is quite, quite important, quite significant. And this will be the situation of more countries and of emerging large economies of the world, which will put the whole resources under pressure. And the only country which appears as a potential becoming uh, an exporter in the coming 20 years would be the US due to the shale gas. But for the rest, worldwide, the energy demand is still expected to grow with over 30%, and this will definitely put an economic, but also political and geopolitical challenge on the use of energy resources. And then to speak about how to use the potential we have becomes more important. Another important aspect is uh, the energy price challenge. I mentioned this before. Clearly, the last couple of years we have seen uh, decoupling between the energy prices in Europe and the US. And to be competitive, we need also more competitive energy prices. Now, how to address all these challenges? First of all, at the EU level, we need to make the internal market work better and to place consumer into focus. And this is valid also for Romania to play a more active and better integrated um, role in the European energy market. Then we need to improve efficiency. When I say improve efficiency, to attract investments in energy efficiency, to tap the potential. And here for Romania is in particular an important uh, area because the potential for improving energy efficiency is relatively high. And we can make much better in this area and also through the behavior change, a good part of this potential can be tapped. In terms of renewables, um, this would also become possible with lower technology costs and better market integration measures. The Commission came last year also with um, communication with a paper on how to support the guidelines, how to support the reform uh, of the support schemes. And this is important because it's necessary to understand that while renewables are important and have multiple benefits, it's one thing to move from 2 to 5 or 10 percent, as in another issue to move over 20 percent, when the cost of integration becomes much more important. And this can be achieved through more innovative solutions, through capacity mechanisms, maybe in first instance, but then also with much more focus on smart grids and on storage in particular. And when I speak about storage, it's also to develop uh, synergies between renewables, for example, and fossil fuels, and especially intermittent power can be transformed 
into gases which can be ejected into the natural gas grid and create opportunities for balancing the operation of electricity and gas grids. We also need to develop infrastructure, interconnections, smart grids, and this is valid also for Romania, which needs to develop them and to improve its reverse flows with its neighbors being uh, part or not of the EU, but also of the Energy Community uh, Treaty. And here, linking to that, the international cooperation. Basically, we need to act on all, on technologies, on regulations, on financing, and on cooperation. I, I would pass quickly just through the main measures we have now, and uh, this is the Energy Efficiency Directive, which um, will be now a basis for the review, and will support the communication we'll have this summer, and which in turn will enter into the discussion for the 2030 package. It's also important to mention the EPBD, and here Romania has quite a lot to do in terms of improving the potential which is there in the residential and public buildings. In terms of technologies, uh, I would like here to mention two, an important uh, communication which came last year on uh, energy technologies, and where we try to go a step further behind what we had in the strategic energy technology plan and look at the challenges we face and how to put things together, both at European level but also at local, national, regional level. And an integrated roadmap and an action plan are currently under preparation, and this should support actually a better identification of priorities and of the packages of solution which to make the puzzle work, as I mentioned before. And Romania has again also in this area quite a big potential for improvement but also for benefiting through smarter specialization and through better use of resources which exist at European level in terms of excellence and science and technology. We have, of course, the Connecting Europe facility, which now became a reality and which is a very important step in, uh, in the EU energy uh, policy and strategy. Uh, it includes 12 priority corridors for uh, gas and for electricity in which to invest, mainly grants for studies and um, financial instruments available for all projects of common interest. In some cases, grants would be also available for so, so those projects where um, uh, commercially they are not uh, viable. Of course, as it was mentioned, 20, 250 pro potential projects of common interest is a lot. Therefore, in the new uh, energy strategy communication, there were identified 33 projects which are considered to be critical. Some of them are also related to Romania in order to make the internal market work better and in order to tap the potential which exists in cross-border trade and in making best use of energy resources across Europe. These are the most relevant corridors and as you can see the Southern Gas Corridor is um, also an important element of that and there are projects which may uh, have an important role both for EU, for the region and for Romania. <coughs> 